G'day guys, I'm Lee and we're on a treasure hunting road trip around Croatia. We're traveling through Croatia in the search of treasure. During lockdown, my girlfriend Nikki and I built our dream camper van. Now we've driven all the way down from the Netherlands in search of some of the world's most beautiful beaches Croatia is known for. Camping here for the night and in the backyard, look at this. It looks like an amazing spot for some treasure. We're going to see how much treasure has been lost there by the tourists over the years. There's so much history, and with the recent war in the 90s, you never know what might turn up in Croatia. Are we going to find some gold today? What a cool guy. We've just taken a ferry from the mainland to Croatia's most popular tourist island of Havar. I'll be scuba diving with a metal detector to see what's been lost in the crystal clear waters. We've already found so much on these adventures. Be sure to check out the earlier videos if you haven't seen them already. We've got a gold ring. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right now it's the off season, so we've got the whole country to ourselves. So for today's adventure, I found one of the most popular places on the island to search for treasure. Are you ready? Wow. Oh my gosh. If you like this video, I'd love it if you subscribe so you can join me on the next adventure. Now, let's go find some treasure. Right now, it's the off season in Croatia, so all of the bars are shut down. And this one, surprisingly, you can't tell from the way it looks now, it gets absolutely packed in the summer. You can see from this area over here where everyone just sits out and watches the sunset over behind me. After they've had their cocktail, they come into this crystal clear water and have a swim. So I've looked on the photos on Google, it gets really busy down here. So I'm hoping we can find a lot. This is the gear that I'll be using on today's adventure. I've got my waterproof metal detector. It can go up to 10 meters deep. Then I've got my Nemo, which I'll put a link for in the description below. This sits on the surface and pumps air down via this tube and it allows me to go underwater three meters for up to over an hour and I've got an extra battery so we could be here for a bit more. I think we could find some coins, jewelry, lots of stuff. If you haven't seen the other adventures we've done so far in Croatia, make sure you check them out. Let's go find some treasure. Okay, we've got the metal detector, we've got the Nemo. Let's get some treasure. <laughs> here find a treasure in the storm <laughs> Just got here and there's coins, literally you can just see them on the floor here along with hundreds of bottle caps but I think we're going to load a lot of coins here today and we've already got our first gold ring so this is epic man. <laughs> no one around, stormy but we come for a treasure hunt and we find it. Oh, I should have told about, let's get back under. <laughs> I'm having a great time. Uh, look at all these bottle caps we're getting just thrown up there on the top. Let's go back and get some coins, we're getting loads of coins. That's 
absolutely crushing it. Look at that, we just went back down for 10 seconds. We've got a ring and three coins. Okay, put these in the glove, hey? says it on there. Could be gold, could be white gold. Awesome. Gosh, have I been finding loads? Look at this handful of coins I got here. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is crazy. Look at it all. There's so many coins. And I'll get this junk off too, so it can lighten my Nemo down a bit. Clearing out the ocean here. We've already got two rings. We're gonna go back and get some more. There's gotta be one more waiting for me, so. Let me change this Nemo battery, and we'll get back in the water. I'm getting very cold, as you can see. Super stormy out there now. It's been raining. And I'm just here by myself hanging out. <laughs> and you're here with me having an adventure. So, let me get back out there. Okay, let's go there. GoPro ran out so I've come back into the camper van and I've got all the finds over here so let's go through it. What an awesome adventure this has been so far. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun out there. It was just filled with treasure. What a spot. It was storming and I just came back in so let's go through and have a look at all these coins and jewellery we got because we got a good mix today. If you look at all these coins, these are local currency coins mostly. So we're traveling in Croatia and the local currency here is Kuna. This is a five Kuna coin and seven Kuna is worth about one euro. You can see how many of these coins we've got here. So that's some great spending money for the road trip. And then we got some jewelry, which is nice. This is the first bit I got, which was an earring. 
I noticed on the photos that I saw on Google there was a floating mattress out there, so I went to that spot, and that's where I got this ring straight after it. How cool is this? This is a engraved gold ring, 14 karat white gold. Super cool with that. We got some other rings later. We got this one. This one turned out to be a platinum ring. It says 950 on the inside of it. So really cool, platinum ring. And then we got a silver ring here. It's got some green stone. It's got something engraved in it. I can't really make it out. I'll have to clean it up, but there is some writing just down there. It probably says 925 silver. Silver goes that color after a while. And then this kind of look gold, I got really excited when I saw it, but you can see it's rusting there. So that's just a junk ring. And this is another ring. I don't know what it is. It's like a piece of copper. It's really fine. It could just be, you know, an off cut of some kind, but it does have that shape of a ring there. So cool. And the other piece of jewelry we got here is this metal armband. And I think it would have looked gold before it went in the water. And it's been in there for a while. So you can see how crusty it is on the ends here. Really cool find. I was actually looking at it thinking it was rope, but it's all made of metal. So it just needs to be cleaned up again. It would have looked good back in the day, but not so much now. And I don't know how, but someone lost a pair of sunnies in the, in the clearest water in the world. I think it was just probably too deep for whoever lost it and they couldn't dive down and get it. And they probably lost it at the end of the season. I don't think they've been down there that long. You can see they've got some you know, grime growing on the lens, but they're just a pair of cheap sunnies anyway. Bomo, I've never heard of that brand. They're just a pair of cheapies, so I don't think they'll be missing them too much. And we have got this pair of... This, this is the weirdest find I think I ever found. This is crazy. We've got a ring attached to a pair of black women's panties. When I found it, my mind was blown because I saw the ring first. I was like, what is that just floating in the air like that? It's actually a fake ring. It's not gold. But the girl who's wearing them probably thought, oh, I'll tie the ring to my panties so I don't lose the ring. And then somehow managed to lose her panties and the ring. So, well, what a find that is. It's pretty dirty. So I'm just going to sit it down there for now. But I'm going to keep that one because I think that's the craziest, weirdest find I've ever found. I hope you enjoyed this adventure as much as I did. We're traveling in our camper vans through Europe. And we're currently on the island of Havar in Croatia. And if you haven't seen the earlier videos, check them out because we've found loads of gold already and had some awesome underwater treasure hunting experiences. If you like this video, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll get a notification each time we publish a video because we'll be publishing them as we go through so that way you can keep in touch. So thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you soon for more treasure hunting adventures. Yeah!